keep those things for a day. <coughs> Goodness, Fiona. Fiona, don't see what in the heck did they get into today, huh? An, well, umbre an umbrella? Right. <laughs> There's no water down there. It's not raining. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, family? Look, I finally got Addie's hair into a normal ponytail. Oh no, she's gonna mess it up with her six hairs. <laughs> let me see, baby. Oh, it's getting messed up already. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Can I see? Can mommy see your hair? Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. You want to put the mask on? Okay. We're gonna see Flash Addy. <laughs> so cute. But normally I just do a little antenna hairstyle on her. I tried to get <laughs> I tried to get <laughs> I tried to get as much hair as I could into like a normal ponytail. And it's <laughs> still <laughs> you're so scary. It's still not quite as like ponytail like as it as it should be, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> you're so scary. <laughs> She's scaring off the cats. Go, rawr! Go tell Sadie, rawr! <laughs> you scared her, you did it! Good job! A little later. We just got home and picked up my babies from school and it's Friday, which means that um, the kids are allowed to play on their iPads on Fridays after they do their chores. They're not allowed to have any iPad time during the week at all. So Fridays, they just get like super excited because they're like, we need to play on iPad! But Friday isn't a weekend. Yeah, well, it kind of, it means there's no school tomorrow, basically. No homework to do. Yeah. All that jazz. So they get to have the iPads Friday, Saturday, and sometimes on um, Sunday. Correct. At least sometimes because there's school after that day. Mm -hmm. Right, correct. But um, sometimes there's not school on a Mondays for like no reason. <laughs> I don't know if it's for no reason. I think there's usually reasons. I haven't shown the camera Fred and Fiona this morning. Oh yeah! Did I? Actually, I don't remember if I did or not. Yeah, oh I didn't, yeah, you here. did. I did? Oh, okay. But my mom's brain isn't working. Again. That feels like it was a whole day ago, actually. Let's go see again. Let's go see if they're still there. Oh my gosh. They, she's uh, hanging on, isn't she? No, <sighs> she's not hanging up. The tape is. Oh, I wonder how I wonder how the tape got there. Probably Fred helped her because Fred's is easy. Yeah, Fred probably taped her up there, huh? Men. So anyway, I <laughs> went to go check my mail. I do not by any means check my mail every day. It's probably really bad. But I went to go check my mail, and it's like this little, like, Lit, basically where you can like get yourself it's like literally like this big the compartment was filled to the max with stuff it's only been a couple days since I checked it and if you have a bigger package they put a key in there so you grab the key and you go into the bigger like the big compartment and that one was full of stuff for me too I think some of our Christmas stuff came in I've been ordering the kids Christmas stuff pretty much like all online but I also got this and I'm really nervous okay so look at this Beautiful dress, right? I'm in a wedding on the 30th of this month. I talked about this a little bit in my Disneyland videos a few weeks ago, but like my cousin who was like my sister growing up, I'm her matron of honor, and I just got my dress in the mail, and I'm a little nervous because they were out of, I'm like right in between two sizes, and I was leaning towards getting the bigger size just in case, because you know, it's the holidays, but they were out. So I had to order the smaller size, and I don't know if it's gonna fit. <laughs> I think I should try it on now because if I need to return it, then oh, that's gonna, I'm probably gonna have to like do express shipping. So, oh, so I'm gonna try this on. Wish me luck. Moment of truth. Okay, I've got some extras with me now. The girls are dressing up. This dress is so pretty, but it is definitely not zipped up in the back. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to wait. I, Lily had tried, but you know, I think I need to have a, a grown up try to zip me into it. If it doesn't zip, then your girl's been having a little too much Texas Roadhouse. What do you mean? I only have the bread there. No, me. <laughs> Can't get it to zip. What do I do? Uh, you buy a bigger <laughs> size. The wedding's in a week. Don't tell the bride. I'll get this figured out. I'll have to have Chris try to zip me into it. Um, let's try on yours though, Lilia, because she's one of the flower girls. I need to take this off. I'm a junior bridesmaid. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were a flower girl. No, I'm a junior bridesmaid. Goes to show what I know. You're a junior bridesmaid? Yeah. Oh, this is your 
your first time being a junior bridesmaid. This girl, on the other hand, is gorgeous. Um, this one's actually a little bit too big though, I think. Good thing you don't have anything to show, but oh, maybe, maybe that is a strap. Not quite how I was envisioning it. Oh gosh, okay, I should, I should get on and fix this right now. She's got a good this much. I don't know if you can see like how much I'm grabbing right there, but that's a good little chunk. We might just need, and it's, and it's too long. What size did I get you? An eight? That should be what you're wearing. Maybe you need a six? Eh, nah. I'm not six years old. I know, but you're you're tiny, you're petite. A few minutes later. What happened? What happened? The camera was standing on the edge of the top and then he, and then he looked and then he touched Fiona. Are you sure he actually touched them? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did! I saw! He did? Landon, did you touch the elf? Landon! Landon! Did you touch the elf? Why did you do that? Do you know what happens when you touch the elves? They lose their magic. They can't fly and stuff when you do that. Lilia, Lilia, I, I heard something before and we'll try it, but if you put the elves in the freezer overnight, it will recharge. Them. I know I heard that. You heard that too? Do you know if it's true? Do you know anybody who's tried it? Case, but just in case he didn't lose her, um, Fiona didn't lose her magic, can we not like touch it? Can we use like something else? Yeah, I'll use a oven mitt. Um, and I won't touch them, and I will put them in the freezer, okay? But Fred, they're also sitting out with her. Okay. It's okay, we'll fix it. But I think the freezer one is the best way. Well, I mean, what are the other ways? Um, I don't remember, but I know there's one with peanut butter. We'll try it, okay? Should we put them in there right now? Yeah. Maybe we should put them in the outside freezer so no one accidentally touches them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you guys don't know, um, Fred and Fiona are, are, are our elves, and they're it's like the elf on the shelf thing. They have these magical powers, like they have flying and stuff like that, and that's how they're able to transport from the North Pole back here. Their one rule is that you are not allowed to touch them. You're never allowed to touch an elf on the shelf. But sometimes, little brothers and little sisters don't really get that. But I think what happened is that it kept happening. Little brothers and little sisters were accidentally touch touching these elves, and so they leaked some information that said that if you, re you can recharge them, by putting them in the freezer overnight. Then I've never had to do this. We've never had any of the kids touch the elves. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. But we've got some devastation going on in this house because they love Fred and Fiona. So we're gonna try it. Wish me luck, guys. So what happened, Lily? Brandon was at the edge of the top like this, but then he accidentally fell, and then like, and then like he accidentally just touch Fiona to go like this so he can save it himself. Oh. Do you think it was an accident or intentional? I didn't see it. I think it was an accident. Okay, well especially if it's an accident, I think it should work. If it was intentional, that might be a different story. What happened, Addy? Um. The elves. This is like surgery. You accidentally touch her with your real hand. I won't touch her with my hand. How do you know you can never tell the future? Oh. No. I think I can help. Oh. 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 Okay. Should I get Fred too? Dada! Right after you get Fiona. Let me see the other one. The other what? Mommy, hold okay. it. We got him. We got the subjects. Mommy, hold it. Let me tell We're gonna put him. Sure, if you want to. We're gonna go put him. Let's put him in the outdoor freezer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the one in the garage. Yeah. So no one touches them, or especially Fred, because then both of them would lose their I know. magic. And. And Fiona, because then she'll lose twice of her magic. Yeah. Then we'll have to keep her in the freezer for two days. 
This is gonna be kind of hard because there's stuff over it. You've got stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna put them up high in here. I'm gonna put them right up here, okay? Okay. I think we're good. Oh, hi, buddy. Every time I see you, you grow another foot. I swear, you're so big. Most of half an inch. <laughs> Probably more like half an inch, you're right. Hi, buddy. How was the drive? You guys made good time. It was horrible. <laughs> Poor Bubby. We're back again. Three hours later. <laughs> One of my kids just said the SpongeBob transition. Oh, do you like the house painted? What do you think? Did you notice it's painted? The whole house is painted. You should see it tomorrow in the daylight. I only noticed like the garage and then like this part. Right I totally there. forgot you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, and the um, the front door is red, but the whole outside of the place is darker. You should see it tomorrow. It's all darker. The whole outside, everything. You'll see it tomorrow. Yeah. Right when Tommy and Kenan got home, it was time to. Um, there was like a gymnastics event where the kids, where my kids go to gymnastics. I love that place so much. But it's basically, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like a free for all gymnastics class that anybody can sign up for. Since they got they got home a little bit earlier than I expected, so we decided to take all of them. And we just got back from that. They had so much fun and got some of their energy out. I'm so happy that Tommy and Kaden were able to go because they were they've been cooped up in a car all day. So that's no fun. But we just got home. You would think. That that their energy would be gone after three hours of gymnastics and they said that their energy is 100% and that they are totally not tired at all. So like, like yes. So we're gonna feed him and I think put him, put him to sleep. Three hours later. So that is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for our next video. Good night. Say good night.